With so many marketing fads, often you can feel like you're spending all your time learning a new strategy or tactic only for it then to die off and having to learn a new one. Hi, my name is Kelly O'Brien. I'm an online marketing and social media coach, and I help you move your most aligned clients from discovering who you are online through to investing with you using storytelling, strategy, and systems. And today I want to talk about strategies, specifically what do we do to overcome having to always learn about different marketing fads. I want to share with you different evergreen marketing strategies for specifically that you can be using in your business. The first one is the email signature that you have on the bottom of every email that you send out. Now you can use something like Mixmax. Um, there's also a wise stamp is another one which will automatically insert a signature into the bottom of all of your emails that you send out. Now we have to send these emails anyway, whether it's to the bank manager or childcare or um, our, you know, old clients, current clients, friends, family, we're sending out these emails anyway. If we have an email signature that automatically uh, is inserted in the bottom of all our emails and it has a call to action in it, maybe that's to download your free opt-in offer or maybe it's to schedule a one-on-one -on -one chat with you to see whether you're a good fit to work together or maybe it's uh, getting them to read your latest blog post or watch your latest video. Having at least one call to action means that people who are interested in what you're doing can go to the next step or they may know someone who uh, needs what you have to offer. So that's my first tip in helping you in evergreen marketing strategies that can um, help continue to bring in new clients. The second one is looking at YouTube. Now, YouTube videos, each new video that you uh, create is creating this um, stronger machine for your business. So the more videos, the bigger the machine gets, the stronger that machine gets. And what generally happens is that if somebody, uh, if we can use some keywords, we make sure that we look at our description and our title of our videos. When somebody comes and finds that, they're then viewing the video, that signals to YouTube that, uh, you know, this is a great video and it will start ranking it higher up in YouTube. So the more views you can get, the higher it ranks, which attracts more people to you and it creates that cycle. So looking at doing more YouTube in your business, uh, again, they can be searched. YouTube is like Google, it's a search engine. So people will just sit there and browse and search on YouTube for things they're interested in. So a great way for you to be able to attract new clients. The third way, very similar to YouTube, but is blogging. If you're more of a writer and less of um, a video, you know, being on, on video and speaking, then blogging is a great option as well. Similarly, we can use keywords for people to find you, people going to Google search, and that blog post um, can appear if it's well optimized uh, so that you can be found that way. People can read that blog post. Now, if you like both strategies, you can even embed that video into the blog post, which of course creates more views for the video as well. Um, but another great strategy to get people coming to you and again, ensuring like your email signature that you have a call to action in whether it's the YouTube video or the blog post that you're asking them to take the next step with you. Again, whether it's a free gift whether it's a discovery call or whether it's buying something from you. We want to, want to lead them to do something else after reading it. So another great strategy um, that, again, the uh, stronger and the more views and more reads um, that that blog post has and the longer someone's on that page, the higher, or it, higher it will rank in Google, uh, which means, of course, more people will find it when they're also searching for those terms and it is attracting more people to your business. So, again, more potential clients. So another great strategy that um, has long lasting effects. Um, one of the things I do like about blogging, we can share it on things like social media. Same with YouTube, we can share our videos on social media, but social media is such a short shelf life for our content um, that 
using YouTube and using um, a blog means that you get more value out of the content that you are creating because, as we know, it takes a lot of time to create our content. And the fourth one is do, get, uh, attracting reviews. So I would encourage you to get a Google My Business page if you haven't already and attract reviews on that page when people are researching whether or not to work with you or even if they're researching um, people in your space they find your Google My Business page and then read the reviews. That's wonderful social proof as to who you are and what you can offer and how what transformation you can provide for um, potential clients. Um, if you don't want to use Google My Business, you can use um, reviews on your website. There are lots of other platforms that are specifically review related. For example, the real estate industry has very specific ones. Or you can use more general things like Facebook as well and attract reviews there. But that's our four uh, different ways to use evergreen marketing strategies that will consistently or continually bring in clients for you for the long term. Um, again, just quickly going over those, it's your email signature, it's uh, YouTube, Blogging is the third one. And then the fourth one is attracting reviews. So hopefully uh, this has been helpful for you. Pick at least one of them and start working on creating an evergreen strategy for your business. And I wish you all the best of luck. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.